guys and welcome back to Big Chick Thrifts honey where you come for the fashion but I hope you stay for the love all right you guys so the backdrop is a little different today because I have a little bit of a different video for you guys today now today in today's video I promised you guys that I was working on a video for people out there like myself who are not experienced heel wearers, uh, honey, I need a pair of training heels. Um, I love a good kitten. I love a wedge. I've tried heels from three to six over and over again. It just never worked out for me. So I went to the thrift store a couple of weeks ago and found a pair of shoes. Hold on, I'll get them for you. Okay, so this is the shoe. Now this particular shoe, I love the color. I love the arch, the design here, because it's not all the way around. And I love the comfort. The comfort of this shoe was amazing. It's called a True Comfort Abrella shoe or Abella. I've never heard of this brand, but the shoe was amazing. But I noticed that when I always check things before I buy them, and I noticed that I thought the heel was broken. But the heel was not broken, y'all. It was altered. And it was that somebody took something and cut that heel into a kitten heel. And honey, I've been purring ever since, honey. This, it sent a light bulb off the top of my head, honey. And I was like, okay, I'm a DIY girl. We finna see if this is gonna work on a, other shoes. And so I figured the best Thing to do is to start with a couple pair of thrifted shoes so the first thing I did was I went on YouTube and I checked out quite a few videos to see if anybody else has ever tried to do this there aren't very many at all I don't think I found any regular people doing it I found shoe smiths or um, cobble cobblers people who have machines or machinery who can literally grind the metal down you could definitely take these into a shoe store and have them done for you. They're not going to take off a lot. Now, if you're looking at this and you're thinking you're going to take a six inch heel and turn it into a three inch heel, it's not going to work. You have to, you can only cut about that much, maybe a third or a half. It's not even a half an inch. It's, it's literally a third of that because when you look at a heel, depending on the way the shoe is made and where the arch is is where you can cut it because if you notice the lower you cut it or the higher you cut it on this end this is going to go up to compensate so as long as there's some give that will go back down so it will even see how that even that shoe back out that is how that works but every shoe is not made the same honey and i learned and i'm going to show you the tips the tricks the do's and don'ts now i didn't try everything i just tried a couple of things to see with the materials that i had is this even possible at your own home so if you want to keep watching let me show you the tools next you guys hi you guys so before we go any further if you're new to this channel my name is nitra aka sugar mama and I am usually here doing fashion or thrifted fashion ideas or um, inexpensive fashion ideas. But this week I'm doing this particular video for heels, cutting down heels, or can you cut down heels? So if you're new to this channel, welcome. I love you. I'm so glad you're here, honey. I'm so glad. And I hope you're enjoying the video. I hope that you, um, Leave me a comment, sweetheart. I hope you leave me a comment. Let me know what you think and make sure you hit that like button. Give me a thumbs up for trying, y'all, because I'm trying to do some different things on the channel. 
like I said, make sure you subscribe, sweetheart, and know that I love you and I thank you so much. I hope you have an amazing week. Now let's get back to the video, you guys. Okay, you guys, so like I said, when I went on YouTube, I, I looked at a I looked for as like as many videos as I could find to see what to even look for tools to use. There were no videos, no um, information really besides, like I said, people who had a shop where they literally did shoes for a living for a living. Um, and you could see them take the shoe and they would press it up against a big machine and just literally grind it. You would see sparks flying to lower the heel of the shoe. But I don't have a machine like that. So I figured let's go to Home Depot and see what we can find to see if this is even possible. I have some good tips for y'all, but I'll definitely let you know what worked and what didn't and what I experienced. And different shoes, the first thing I'll tell you is different shoes um, come with a thicker base metal and as you can see can you see that piece of metal there every shoe is different and this one looks like somebody grinded this one down because usually there's a hole inside of every heel um because there's a pin that i found and i'll show you guys that they stick into the heel to cap it off so the first thing you have to do or the first thing i did was i went to home depot and they showed me this particular tool here. Now, this particular tool was made by a brand called Stanley. And it's called a mini hack saw. It's a 10 inch mini hack saw. Now, this came connected to that, but you have to take this off in order to use this. It's held on by this little nut here. You unscrew it. I took the cardboard off and then you screw that nut back on tight to keep that blade from moving. And literally it is exactly what it says, a hacksaw. And the only thing you have to do is really take this and I'll show you video of me. Like you got to use, honey, what Myra say, honey, you got to use the elbow, your grease to get that this thing <laughs> off of here. And I found that every heel is not made different. I mean, not made the same. So this particular heel, I can tell you from experience now, they had to have grinded that down. That is extremely thick. And there would be no way for me to use a blade like this, this small to cut that. So somebody took this somewhere and had this grinded down or they grinded it down themselves with a machine. Um, but when I went to Home Depot, they recommended this particular hacksaw. Like I said, it's a 10 inch. They may have they had them bigger, but I, I was not going to, you know, I just wanted to test this out. Now, maybe one day I'll try it again, maybe with the 12 inch and a bigger um, blade. And just to be on the safe side, there are replacement blades because as you're, of course, sawing into the heel, this blade is going to start dulling out. These particular replacements were only $3 and change. So altogether, um, this particular set was about $11 with change. So if you want to give this a try, I, I would definitely recommend you go to your local uh, hardware store, Lowe's, Home Depot, um, the Just Do It Center, whichever ones that you see fit. And ours did a military discount. So I literally paid under 10 bucks for both pieces. Um, but I got some good information and I got some good tips to show you guys. And I'm going to show you the video of me because I was successful on a pair of shoes when cutting the heel. But I'll show you the difference. So let me show you. Now I'm gonna start off showing you on this pair of heels here. This particular pair of heels I found at Goodwill. You guys have seen the video with me um, showing these shoes that I found with an outfit already. So if you would like to see them styled up, I'll make sure I check, I'll put try to find that video and hook it in. But you see this little tip here? 
the tip of this thing has to come off. I saw the video of the um, the shoemaker and he showed every heel has, um, or thin heel, I should say, because I'm going to show you the difference. Every heel has a metal rod or a metal, and it's for support, but it's a metal. This whole casing here is metal. And of course, the more expensive the shoe, I'm pretty sure, the thicker the metal or the thinner um, to hold you up. So there's not much here to help hold you. So they had to put a thicker base here to, you know, hold all that weight that you're putting on this particular shoe. But as you can see, there's a cap on the end of this thing. Can you see that? You have to take that off and I'll show you. Once you take that off, it looks like that. Let me move the strap. Now that particular pin, can you see how thick? Can you see how thick that is? That is how that red shoe looked grinded down. And you can tell what they did was they pressed that up against a machine, a sander or some form of a metal grinder. And all they did was grind that metal down to meet this particular base. That is how they short shortened the heel of that particular shoe. Now this shoe that is about as high or as much as you can cut off from a pair of heels. Now you could probably try to cut off more um, if you would like to experiment, but I kind of listened to the reviews and the things that the shoemaker said um, that you don't want to cut off too much because then you're going to change the gravity and the base of the shoe because the shoe is made specifically for this particular arch. Now, this honey, no ma'am. <laughs> I'm gonna show you in um in the clip here. Uh you'll see me like like grinding for my life, honey. Like <laughs> um I needed one of y'all to be on the other side of this thing and push while a, a pull while I push or something, honey, because it was not. When I tell you it was not happening, it was not happening. I don't care how much I was, look, ain't that much elbow grease in the world, not today, no ma'am, <laughs> that was going to get this particular piece of metal. And it does not look thick at all. Can you see that hole? You would think that it would not be as hard to get that and cut that off. But I assume that I may need a thicker blade then this particular one um it did work and i'm going to show you on a pair of heels that i i was able to get it through but i'll kind of hopefully show you the difference between the thickness and the metal so it what i'm saying is it all depends on that little piece of metal whether this hacksaw is going to work so let me show you a pair of heels that i tried it on and it worked Okay, you guys, so you guys have seen this particular shoe also from a previous thrift haul that I did. Um, I try to link um, recently, I try to link the video, but I really, really love this denim and this uh, peep toe style of shoe. I love a good peep toe, but I love this lace up because it's faux. You don't have to, once you lace this up, you don't have to keep lacing it and unlacing it every time you put it on because of the zipper. Now, I love shoes like that. So when I saw this, I don't own a pair of denim um, heels and I've always wanted a pair. So I figured why not try with these? Now, the awesome part about this one, I'm not sure if you can see it. I'll try to get as close as possible. You see how little that hole is? That hole, and I'll show you the difference. Look at that hole and look at that hole. As you can see, that hole um, is a whole lot, this one is a whole lot thicker than this one. You see how little that hole is? Now that made it possible. I'm gonna show you the clip now of me cutting this particular heel because um, as you'll see, I did this and I've been trying this over the last couple of weeks. So I'll have on different outfits. I try this on different days um, because I am, I do work. And um, I was trying to figure fit all of this in and make sure I got this as much information for you guys as possible. 
So I'll put the video in, but I'll explain to you guys that this particular heel looks exactly from the outside. It looks no different than that. It doesn't look different at all. The difference is you'll learn once you take that pin out, that hole is going to determine or that thickness is going to determine whether you're going to be able to cut that heel down at home or you're going to have to take it out somewhere. Now, I must say, if you do have power tools and those big, your husband or somebody has those big, or if you have those big, huge power tools where you can sand down metal, honey, call me because I'm going to send you all my shoes. And so you can help a sister out. <laughs> but this particular heel, there was more of a plastic casing around this circle to keep that balance than it was metal. So I was able to use this saw. And of course, I, like I said, I'm going to put that video in of me cutting because um, I just did these today. But it was very simple. It took me, I would say, about two minutes to cut the heel off. I tried the shoe on. Um, I may do a little video of me walking in the shoes because I wanted to see once you cut it, how will it change the fit or the um, the balance on the heel. I put them on and I walked around, honey, and I cannot believe that I can, I can walk in them. I only took off, let me see if I can find the piece. Uh, hold on one second, I'll get it for you. Okay, you guys, like I said, I did not take off a lot. I took off this much. Can you see that? I used, it was that high. And believe it or not, that makes a lot of a difference because if you look at it, look how that slope is. And if you take this off, look at the difference. It kind of, if you're like me and you're one of those types of people who the only thing that bothers me about heels or bothers me when I walk in heels is feeling like I'm tipping over. And just this little piece you wouldn't think it would make such a difference, but just this little piece being taken off. And like I said, you have to take that pin out first, honey. And listen, um, whoever put them pins in there, I wish you would just screw them so you can unscrew them to take them off, honey, because it was a fight. Like, listen, um, Buster Douglas, Mike Tyson, like I would have took them out the way I was pulling on this thing, but I finally got that. When you do get the pins out now, I, I'm sure there is a, uh, a tool and I'll show you the tools that I use. Cause I'm sure there is a tool that you're supposed to use. And this is the pin you guys that I'm talking about. Look how thick that pin is. That is ridiculous. Look at that. But once I got this pin out, and I got to, um, I used this hacksaw. I was able to cut the heel down. Now to take the pin off, I used jewelry tools. Now these are tools that you use to make jewelry. Now I use these and this one is called a mighty gripper or a mighty crimper. And this one, I forget what it's called, but it was very useful. And to like, once you got the pin up a little, I use this to pull it up a little you would I do more twisting and pulling and then when I slid this underneath it I was able to kind of like zhuzh it up and then I was able to use this to keep pulling it tw twisting it and pulling it and then it finally came out the pen is the hardest thing to get out I'm I know there is a tool that they make because I saw the shoemaker using this particular tool I just didn't order the tool it wasn't that serious I just wanted to see if this was possible to do at home. So if you're like me and you just you just want to see if this works, I hope these tips, I hope this video helps you. Make sure you leave me a comment and let me know if you're going to try this out or if this is something you've even heard about cuz before that thought never even crossed my mind. I would always see a pair of shoes that I love and I would just keep pushing because I knew I I could not wear them because of that slope or that feeling, that sensation. But I definitely was able and excited that I was able to get this particular uh, heel cut down. So let me show you my, my favorite thing that I looked up on and share with you guys. So I hope this helps. Let me know in the comments if you tried it, honey, and it worked for you. Or if you tried something else 
Or if you have another idea um, that you think would work better, honey, leave me a comment and let me know. And I will try it out, honey. I am a DIY girl. I love a challenge. And this, this was a challenge, y'all. I've been working on this for the last couple of weeks. So I hope the ideas and the tips help. Um, if you don't have these, I got these from the craft store. You can get them from Walmart, Joann's, Michael's, wherever your local craft store is, honey. But I'm pretty sure if you just go on Amazon, there's probably one tool that'll help clip. And if I find the name of it before I put the video out, I will put the name of the tool that you use to pull that out. And they do sell on Amazon the pins that you can buy to replace to put back on there like the cap that keeps you um the guard to keep it from just being this particular material on the ground so let's get to my next pair of shoes that i want to show you guys that like when i say legit work it worked y'all so let's get to it okay you guys so okay like i said i think like i hope that the, the tips that i've given you for the thinner heel which is what I consider this the thinner heels. Now this, like I said, I very rarely wear anyway. So um, I, I, I assume like just getting them from the thrift store, you can't be cutting a $5 pair of shoes or a $3 pair of shoes. I do not recommend you taking a pair of Louis Vuitton or a pair of expensive, anything over $5, honey, don't mess with it. Don't do it. If it's your favorite pair of shoes, don't do it. Try it on shoes like this that you know if it didn't work, it only cost you $5. You're not going to miss out on nothing. Now, I should still be able to wear these. I'm going to buy that pin to, um, from Amazon to stick back in here and, and hook this back up, DIY this back so I can still wear these because I did not cut the other one. Once I noticed this was just too thick, it no ma'am. So I consider those thin heels. Now, y'all, I go for these every time. Now, I can wear heels like this. I call these thick heels. Now, I don't know the terminology, so y'all just roll with me. This I consider thick, a thick heel or a chunky heel. Now, I love a good chunky heel, honey, but sometimes these can still get too high. Like sometimes, um, you know, sometimes they just still too grown for me, you know, so <laughs> I know my limit. But I got these off of Poshmark and I only paid um, a couple of dollars for them. But the crazy part about it was I ended up getting it for free because my mailman decided he wasn't getting out the mail truck. So he just threw the package underneath my car. And so it got ran over <laughs> yes, it did. and it almost ruined the shoe. But I figured I would still use them. Went to the post office. They ended up paying me for the shoes. Um, and for the for the mess up, but I decided I'm still gonna use the shoe. I'm doing the video anyway. I'm cutting the shoe anyway. So I would show you. You still can alter these shoes, honey. Let me tell y'all something. They never should have showed me this one. Now, I know you guys can do this one. Now, this one is a little more difficult for um, the average person if you are afraid of power tools. Let me please just start off by saying I am not a professional. I am a DIY homegirl. I just wanted to try this out on a couple pair of cheap shoes. Um, we, I already had the power tool. So if you do not have what's called a miter saw. Now I used a miter saw for this particular section of the video. All of these heels I'm going to show you in the next few minutes. Uh, or in the next segment, were all done and cut from a miter saw. Now, I will tell you that I did a lot of research on, like I said, heels to see what the difference is, what to look for, like what am, what should I look even look for? There was not a lot of information. So this was all uh, on job training, a learned experience, honey. So this particular heel, and, and I'll show you that most heels, and I don't know if you knew, but I learned, these are all based in a plastic material. Now, I thought that was more of a wood base. I thought this was more wood. I don't know why, but I thought heels had more of a wooden because of that sound. But that, honey, it looks like a cork and its material is um, glued onto a plastic base. Can you see that? 
that is plastic. And all they did was glue that material and iron it down flat onto that plastic base. Now this particular shoe was a couple of inches higher than you see now. I know it looks like this, um, but this is not how this shoe came to me. It came about a third of an inch higher. Um, so I cut this particular heel and I use what's called, and I'll make sure I'm showing the video, a miter saw. And a miter saw is one of those saws. Um, I hope you're seeing it now, but it's one of those saws that it's, it's on the table. And all you do is push it down cut what you're cutting and you lift it back up but it's a huge one huge blade that turns and it's electrical so once you plug it in and you turn it on and you get it at the angle you need you just put this just like you would a piece of wood underneath the miter saw pull it down and as it's cutting what I was doing was bouncing it up and down on the plastic to keep it moving I didn't want it's not wood so it's not like you can just push it down and just roll right through it this particular plastic, I found that I had to keep lifting it up and down so that blade would not get um, stuck with a lot of the plastic bits that were coming off. I will tell you, please make sure you try this in a heavily, heavy ventilated area. I did mine in the backyard. You'll see me um, doing this particular with the miter saw in the backyard. Now, I did do the hand saw I did the hacksaw in the house because there's nothing electrical there was nothing flying around I did have on my glasses for to cover my eyes this when I did this in the miter saw I made sure I had on uh, a face mask and I had on um, eye gear so like I said this is plastic and I was able to cut off at least a third and I took off that can you see that that groove piece that goes on the bottom of here now all I have to do now is they make um uh, a piece that you can put onto here that's it looks like sandpaper and you can all they also make pieces that you stick in here to, for comfort but they also make grips that's what it's called it's like a little grip that you can put here and I have a couple of those on the way from Amazon that I'm gonna glue and stick here so I don't have that issue when I'm walking that it feels like I'm slipping. So I'll be able to put one here. If you know what I'm talking about, if I get them, um, even in another video after this, I'll make sure I show you guys, but I'm going to put one here for that, that grip to keep that grip to keep me from slipping. And I'll put one here and I can cut it and alter it to the size and shape that I want here because they make them so big. So I'll let you guys know and I'll keep you posted, but I definitely am now able to wear this shoe because the heel was um, about almost six inches here so I just took off a third and it didn't it this one doesn't have a lot of give so I didn't take a lot off so when I wear it it doesn't feel like the shoe is going like this because I didn't cut off too much so that's my tip do not cut off too much from the end here you're only going to get about a half an inch more than not a half an inch but a third more of this but you would be amazed I'm telling y'all you're gonna be amazed at just taking off that little piece it keeps that feeling like like you're not teeter-tottering as you're walking because that was my biggest issue so let's get to our next pair so I can show you what I mean on another pair of shoes. okay you guys so this is my last pair that I'm going to run through because I wanted to show you different styles of shoes. And I also wanted to show you um, the different widths and the different um, uh, forms of shoe. Now, before I finish, I had to try a boot. <clears throat> now, this was very important to me because I have been having this. <laughs> I've had this pair of boots for about, I would say, about three or four years. And I've never worn them. Well, let me just say, y'all. I tried once. Got out there, honey, and I swear I look like Michael Jackson on the Wiz. <laughs> I couldn't win. No, ma'am. <laughs> I couldn't get even, and I had to get out the game, honey, because <laughs> this heel had me wobbling, and, and them knees was buckling like, look, I had to wear, I, I started out with these shoes, 
And before I could even make it in the restaurant, I had to hobble my behind back to the car and put on my slippers. Honey, and I thought I was cute too. And by the time we went to eat, honey, I was in my slippers, in my outfit, because I was not about to be in the emergency room in these shoes trying to be cute. I love these shoes. I love this moment that it's just a sexy pair of boots. Now, these came from um, uh, Candies, and I, I, I just loved, and I thought that because of this thickness here, that it would have compensated for this heel. But this ended up being a six inch heel. But I thought because of this, it would subtract some of that. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Uh, so what I did was, once again, this is not wood. This is plastic. And uh, all I did was, these have the same lines on it. Can you see that? There we go. These have the same lines on it as the brown ones. So I just geared the line to make it where I wanted it. And y'all, I can finally wear these boots, y'all. I cut off, and of course, I did use the miter saw again. I'll show you the video um, of me cutting this particular pair. Um, hopefully, I'm showing you in every shoe that I'm talking about, I'm showing you me cutting the shoe. Like I said, the only ones that you will not see me successful with is this pair here. And I, like I said, it's because of the thickness of that little bar, that metal bar inside of there. But there is no metal in these thick heels. So if you have a pair of thick heels, honey, that you absolutely love, if you have a miter saw or you know somebody with one, girl, go on over there and put them heels. Look at that. And it looks like it's not going to work, honey, but it works. I would definitely recommend you try this. But like I said, please do it in a ventilated area. Please be careful. Make sure you use safety uh, goggles uh, and, and a mask because you are dealing with burning plastic. Make sure you're outside and not in the garage. Um, I would definitely say I was in the backyard on the patio, but this came out amazing. I love these now. And if it wasn't so damn hot outside, honey, I would have these on now because I've been wanting to wear these shoes forever. But I definitely, definitely um love how they came out. I took off. Now with these, can you see the grip here? See that grip matches the grip on here. And all I did was, that's about how much that I took off. That's almost about a half an inch for this one. It's not quite a half an inch, I would say right under it. But if, can you see that? There we go. That's how much I took off of these. And like I said, I'm gonna, I'm hoping that you're seeing video here. But I use that miter saw. And that miter saw, honey, with that, at, it's an eight and a half inch miter saw. And it's just one single blade. And when it comes on, it is loud, it's fast. Just be careful. So these were the shoes that I tried them on so far. Maybe later I'll try a couple more pair. I'm going to give it a rest for a minute, honey, because this was some work, y'all. And it wasn't that it was, um, you, you know, like I said, I, I'm, I'm a mom, I'm a wife, I'm, I work. Uh, I just have other things in life, but when you're doing something like this, you have to be very focused and careful because you're dealing with power tools. So my most important tip, you guys, was is safety. Be safe if you're going to try this. And I hope that these tips help you. Um, but I'll put these down and then I'll come back with my, um, we'll, we'll do a run through of what worked, what didn't, what to look for, what not to. And then we'll get to the part which y'all always come here for, honey, because you know. I'm ready, honey. Okay, you guys. So I'm hoping that this video isn't too long for you, but I really wanted to do a thorough video of how my experience or what my experience was trying this out. But um, please let me know in the video, you know, if I explained it well enough for you to understand if you, you were able to see um, how I cut these things in the videos. But if you have any questions, 
honey, put them comments in there and I will definitely answer any question you have. It, like I said, if you have another idea or another way, drop it in the bottom, honey, and I will definitely, like I said, the easiest thing to do is to take this somewhere and let somebody else do it. Of course, that's the first tip I'll give you. Call your local shoemaker. Um, there are people who do this for a living, but I'm, I'm just one of those types of people. If I can do it myself, I just want to do it to see if I can do it. So if you're like me and you just want to try something out to see if it works, these or those were the things, these are the things that work for me. Like I said, you start out with this handsaw. It's called a mini hacksaw, like I said, and it's by Stanley. It's a 10 inch blade and it only cost me about $7 and change. Um, and like I said, there were backup. Those are the blades when it's not in the tool. Those are the blades. This is um, a different brand, but it, it didn't matter as long as it said 10 inch blade. That one's DeWalt. Um, and like I said, the people were very helpful. The gentlemen were very, very helpful in Home Depot. Um, when I explained what I was doing and they wanted to see if it was going to work too. So I hope they watched the video too. I thank them for their help. They were so awesome. Um, but definitely this particular blade cuts metal. Now I did not get this for the thicker heel. I only got this to see if we could cut these thinner, these thinner heels. I only got those for heels like this. So if you want to try this, I would definitely say, give it a try. But what's going to show you whether it's going to work or not, like I said, is this pin. If this pin, once you take out um, the pin on the shoe, if that is any, if it's thick like this or any thicker, honey, it's not going to cut. You're going to need um, that particular machine where you grind this metal down. I don't own that machine, honey, but if, if I find somebody who do, y'all know I'll be back. I'll be back because I'm, I'm determined to figure that out because that would be so awesome. And maybe I'll do some more research to see um, what the name of that machine is and call around to see if I know somebody with one, honey, because y'all know me, honey. I will. Yes, I will for you. So look at that heel once you pop that pin out. You see that circle? If it's thick like this, don't even try it. Don't even try it. But if you find a pair with a hole that little, see the difference? Can you see the difference in that hole? Look how big that hole is and look how small that one is. This one worked. I was definitely able to cut this and cut this down. And um, you will see me next week style up these shoes. Um, I have a massive haul that I'm working on because I was... Um, thrifting, of course, showing you clothing, but I definitely wanted to show you guys that these did work. And, um, next week I will do a video with these shoes, styling these shoes up with the haul that I'm working on y'all. And when I tell you like the jackpot, like I, I love thrifting y'all. And I really found some really cool pieces and I can't wait till next week to show you. But like I said, once you pull that pin out, you can still use the shoe when you pull the pin out, but I would not advise cutting into the shoe like I did that. But I cut it just to find in order to find out this information. I cut as much as I could. It was too thick, y'all. Do not try it when it's that thick. When you see that hole thick like that and that gauge, look at that metal. That is just too thick. It was just too thick. but. Those uh, quite a few shoes really, really worked, you guys. I really, really um recommend trying this um, as long as you're comfortable with power tools. If you're comfortable with power tools, if you're comfortable DIYing, let me know if it worked for you. And like I said, if you find a different way, a different trick, leave me a comment and let me know, you guys. But I definitely, definitely recommend if you have the thicker sold shoes. If you're a girl like me who loves that thicker heel, when I say it worked, it literally took me a minute um, to cut both heels or, or maybe a minute and a half. I promise you no more than two minutes to cut the heels off of these shoes here with that miter saw. 
Because all you're doing is guiding the miter saw where you want that miter saw to cut. I hope these tips work for you guys. Um, let me know, like I said. And once again, I use this to tighten up that hacksaw, that small hacksaw. And I use these particular jewelry tools to pull the pin out of the heel. So if you have any other questions, you guys, make sure you leave them in the comments um, section below. I really enjoyed doing this. It was really fun. I actually got something out of it because I learned a lot. Um, but I also got a, a new like light on shoemaking. And um, I love the fact that I tried it myself. Some worked and some didn't. So I love you guys enough to, you know, just destroy a couple pair of shoes, but they really weren't destroyed to me because it worked. It really did. Um, it didn't work on every pair, but that's life. Some things are going to go your way. Some things aren't. But at $5 a shoe, you know, I think I paid three, three dollars and change for those shoes. The pair that did not work. Um, I'm still going to DIY to figure out how to still wear those shoes because I really love those shoes. Um, but I thank you guys so much. And before we go any further to the end, y'all, because you made it to the end, honey, and I love you for that. So let me put these tools away and you know what I'm about to say to you. Okay, you guys. So I know this video is a little bit longer than my average videos, and but I hope that by it being so long, I hope that you got a lot of information that um, you needed to help you or guide you along this journey if you're going to try it or if you just wanted to see if it worked with me doing it. Um, but if you have a pair of old shoes that you really want to try and you have these things laying around or you don't mind going to Home Depot and paying $10 for the tools that you need, you have any questions, just let me know, honey. That's what I'm here for. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I thank you so much, honey. And listen, y'all know, listen, y'all know I love y'all so much. Like there are no words to explain how much fun that I'm having with an idea that God allowed me to do this. Like, I, I just love you guys. And I thank you guys so much for stopping by. Big Chick Thrifts, honey, where you come for the fashion, baby. But I hope you stay because you know I love you, girl. Yes. If you loved anything in this video, make sure you hit that like button, honey. If you have not subscribed yet, honey, girl, what is you waiting for? Listen, I'm here every week. I try to upload every Sunday. Saturday sometime. It just depends on life, honey. But so far, I try to upload every Sunday because this is so much fun. And I'm so thrilled that you guys are enjoying this just as much as I am. But just know if there's anything you need, I'm always here for you because I love you, honey. I hope you have a wonderful week. I hope you share this video with somebody. If you know anybody who's, you know, you got a girlfriend, honey, and y'all just love talking about shoes and fashion, honey, send them this video. Hopefully I can send them on the right track. If you know somebody who ever thought about cutting heels or who complains about heels, honey, send them my way, honey, send them this video. I hope I can help guide them or, or teach them some of the tips and tricks that I learned. And hopefully if you learned something, honey, Leave me a comment because, honey, I'm always here for learning. If you're not learning, you're not living. So with that being said, I love you. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. <laughs>